Hey guys, welcome to your sixth iOS game tutorial. This one should be pretty quick. All we're going to be doing is taking this main menu image, adding it to our game, and then when we click new game, we'll start a game. So the first thing we need to do is once you've gotten this image into our build, we're going to go to first game. You could just right click, we'll say new file. We're going to have it be an Objective-C class, and it's going to be a scene. We'll say main menu scene. After we finish that, we add it to our game. Let's drag this up here. And all we're going to do is add a little code to this main menu. In our main menu scene.h, we're going to add our two methods that we'll need for the scene. And one's going to be init with size, cg size. Other is touches began with the touches and event. Next, let's head over to our main menu scene.m. So at the top, we added import my scene.h. And we did that because in this scene, we're going to be accessing a uh, my scene variable. So we need to import it. Next, we do our init with size method. All we're going to do is set the background sprite to main menu. And then we're going to position it in the very center. And then we'll add it. In the touches began, we're going to check the UI touch my touch. And this will give the touch to wherever it was. And then we'll set the current position to that touch object. And next we're just checking if the position I touched is within my touch. Another way to do it is if you had like a CG rectangle, you could say if CG rect contains point. And so if I had a sprite that was like a new game sprite square and I added that to our background, I could say if CG rect contains point and I'd say sprite we added dot frame and then current pause and then if this if it uh, was touched within the frame this would be true so we could do that but since my main menu is already has a new game button there just because I was lazy we just check these coordinates because that's where it is on the image we just check these coordinates because that's where it is on the image and in here what we do is we say SK scene my scene equals this my scene class, this scene down here, alloc and then init with size self dot size. And so once we click that, it's it's running this init with size method. And then we create a transition and we make it a doorway with duration 0.5. And then we say reveal pauses incoming scene no. And then we set self dot view present scene my scene transition reveal and what that's going to do is it's going to reveal the scene but we can't do it yet we need to go to view controller and we need to say import main menu scene dot h and then here we say main menu scene instead of my scene in the view will layout sub views so now the first scene we go into is the main menu so if we click play we should see it Okay, so here we are, where you have this main menu, and if we click New Game, we see the doorway transitions to a new game. And you could change the speed of the transition, or actually the transition itself. There's a few in the kit. So you could change it to however you like, and now we have our score. And if we die, we can choose New Game, and then we go there. And if you wanted to be able to choose back to go to the main menu from, um, from the end of the game, you would just add a main menu button, and then when you click that button here in my scene we'd say touches began you could do a if check to check if it was touched within that sprite with that new cg rec contains point method i just showed you and if it's within that then all you have to do is do the transition like this so if you ever want to add it to go back to the main menu you can and uh, I think that'll just about do it for this game. So thanks for watching these tutorials.